It's time for Eric Play City Skylines 2. Uh, notice up above the uh, train up there, those trees are moving back and forth in the wind. I notice that a lot on uh, City Skylines 1 when I'm watching uh, City Planner plays um, in Venda Beach. Um, but I, I hadn't realized that they still had the swaying trees in uh, City Skylines 2. In fact, for some reason, I thought they had gotten rid of it. Um, Alright, all right, so uh, there's a couple things that I've been wanting to do. That uh, uh, they're leaving with only four passengers, so not very efficient. But we've got thirty-one million dollars, so we're we're fine. Um, so one thing I'd like to do is get this um highway uh to come over here, so that we have two different ways in. We're not having any traffic issues right now, although we are having some uh, elapsed, huh? We are having, we were having some over here somewhere. I guess not anymore. Um, all right, let me take a quick look at our mail situation here. I think we're okay. No, I guess not, right? Because those are showing as red. I guess for the amount of citizens we have is the problem. The it's the density. So we'll add some more. Um, that said, I think that we may potentially need another mail sorting facility or something because I think mail is getting <laughs> kind of like left behind over here or something. What is... Oh, okay. Um... Alright, I think that's better. Um, so we may need to make another one somewhere. <laughs> uh, that said... Let's do this highway I've been wanting to do. Um, so for now, I'm going to keep it a rural highway. I don't think we need anything more complicated than that at the moment. Uh, we'll do a four lane. All right. And so I'm going to come off, just go around this lake here. And... Actually, let me get rid of that last segment I just did. Um, so I want to raise it up. I want to come up and then come down over here somewhere. So I do need to buy some tiles first. Let's get these tiles here. Maybe those there as well. And then the other thing I want to take a look at is if I wanted this highway to somehow connect over there, could we do that? <laughs> I think the answer is maybe without too much destruction uh, i do like my little roundabouts i got going on here i realized uh, we've got something like that similar to that um where i live and we've got the rail going back here um so uh, for now i'm just gonna leave that alone all right so let's come back over here got our highway and i'm gonna go out we're gonna go up and up again and whoa that looks bunkers. I'm trying to make people take off. Let's not do that. That's crazy. All right, let's let's go. Boop, boop. All right, so let's go up. Now let's go a little bit, little. Now let's go up again. All right, so now, and across the water. We're over here. I come down and finally touch down. All right, so now if we look from over here, where do we actually want the highway to go? Ooh, I think towards, you know, that other shore over there seems like a decent idea. Um, and Probably also this way. Um, yeah. All right, you know what? We have the money. Let's let's do all that as well. 
All right. Um, but for now, just to make this useful, let's see. Let's grab this guy. And he's going to go. He's going to keep following. He's going to go underneath. Okay. And then I think since this is a highway, we want this guy to come off of there. All right. So we're good there. So that should allow people to have a different way into this area if that's something they want to do on this wacky curvy bridge I've got going here. All right. So we've got a huge demand for residential, including for high density residential. Um, so perhaps we take a look at fulfilling some of that. Got a crematorium here. Uh, whoa, we are at max processing. So let's add an additional incinerator. That made everyone happy, which is kind of crazy. Um, but we're still taking in two. Oh, uh, maybe maybe we. See, I can't tell. Are we? All right, I think we're okay. But let's get some more. Oh, we cannot get more hearses go in there. All right, we're, we're at max hearse capacity. Um, however, we could maybe upgrade some of these guys. Um, that was weird. All right, uh, maybe we could upgrade some of these guys to high density. So, let's go high density. And I'll say you could take up that much space. Boom, boom. Whoa, that's a tall building, potentially. All right. Um, we've got a playground right there. Okay. All right. I am going to have to redo the transit at some point because it's kind of a mess with what I've been adding. Um... All right, some people taking the new highway. Not too many, but that's okay. That's kind of expected. Um, the other thing I wanted to take a look at is the... Um, it's my overground subway station that I was working on here. Um, actually, all right, so what's going on here? This is all, they're saying that rent is too high. I do want to put some of oh, this crematorium here. Processing speed zero bodies per month. I guess no one's dying over here. Um, I think it would definitely make sense to have some commercial right outside of the um, subway. So put one right there. I think these should be like some small shops, maybe a medium sized one. Small one. Yeah, I don't think there would be huge ones here. Okay. We'll let that do its thing. And... Put this firehouse here. Alright. All right, so Birdsong Glade's got this connection over here. Probably let them connect to Hamilton Street. I think that would make sense. But we don't want to go too far this way towards the university, so I did want to save room for the medical campus. But I do think this connection would make a lot of sense, potentially. Well, do I? Do I want people going? I don't, maybe I don't. Maybe I want to force them onto the highway so that they're not putting a bunch of traffic on a little road. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. So we'll we'll do that. All right. So here comes the subway, the blue line. It's got six passengers. All right, people are actually coming over. Look at that. Let's see if they come out of here now. Shh. 
guess I really should have a bus line or something, because you come here and now what are you going to do? Just walk around everywhere? Um, so that's something I didn't quite think through. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll set that I'll set that up, I guess. Let me oh, actually let me finish building this area out and then I'll set up the bus station. Um So, and there he goes and they've got one passenger. <laughs> All right. And I don't see anyone coming out of here, so I guess they're just chilling in there. They're like, "You know what? We like it in here. We don't actually want to see your little area." Uh, that said, we probably should have a path that will take people over there. Let's do that. Safe way for them to come over here. Alright. I think I'll I'll have some um, offices along the road here. Smaller offices. Another commercial here, and maybe over here. All right, cool. So while that's growing, we really do get, need to get some more residential growth. I think. I think I want to do it this way over here. So let's buy another square. All right, and we'll do that. So. I think we're going to make another road on the other side of the power lines. Most of them, anyway. Alright. We'll have this just this power line area just blank over here. Let's bring our pads. A driving over. advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Deluxe Relax with Alice Brash. I'm her assistant and co-host Sarah, although she's really more of a role model. It's what you believe that counts, dear. And if you believe in yourself, you can believe in anything. Thanks, everybody. We'll be right. All right, so let's make a let's make a little a short block here that can be used for just making some smaller, potentially more affordable homes. Expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are perfect. All right, I'm going to put a little park in here of some sort. Which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, right. let's do our cross streets here. The housing shortage going to make me richer. By certain make a larger block this time. Like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Right, there's something... Everyone is in a hurry the heck is this? Fast. 
It's worth slowing down. Cemetery ruins, huh? If you can, plan your trip outside the road. Alrighty then. Oh, a little further then. I'd rather than. wait for oh. traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. paths out and this block ended up a little extra long because of that cemetery so let's do let's cut across like here but pedestrians have somewhere to go we'll do the same going this way perfect all right Let's see, where does that put us? All right, I think we'll have, we'll have a couple um, offices mixed in here. Let's do, let's do at least one more block, I think. And then we'll, nah, I guess I'll zone as I go since I'm running at normal speed. So let's see, I think Oh yeah, this is going to be for housing here in this shorter block. So what I'll do is I'll do... Let's see. Let me get my parks in first. Let's do a small park there. Can we fit any of these in here? We'll put tennis courts. We'll put a skate park. Um... Here, um, we could use a community pool as well. That, I think, would probably go nicely, like right there. Um, right, let's go ahead and add. Oh, I'm parking a couple parking spots. So we'll do a small spot there. We'll do one there, and then. Near those is where I'll have some commercial. We'll allow there to be some commercial here as well. And then commercial here. Right, let's go our residential. So in this little one here, we were gonna have this all be residential. Uh, not high rise though, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Uh, so residential. Um, Residential. All right. And this side will allow for larger lots. We'll, we'll let whatever comes in come in. There go. Okay. So we've got this right of way area, which I think should not actually have. I was going to put trees, but it should not have trees because. Uh, that would be hazardous if the power lines fell to catch fire. Um, we should have some... I'm going to put... Nope, I was going to put apartment buildings, but I don't... Uh, you know what, there might be some apartment buildings, or, you know, row houses. That kind of reminds me of a neighborhood. There's mostly single-family homes, but then there's some row houses nearby, so we'll do that. Okay, let that zone in. <coughs> Alright. We need some more high-density. I'm gonna come over here and 
let's see. All right, it looks like maybe. Whoa. There's some kind of like everybody's stuck waiting for everyone type of thing going here. Interesting. All right, uh, that's weird. <laughs> um, I wonder if it's like we're stuck in a situation that can never resolve itself, or what's going on here? Maybe some cars or something have to despawn. Like, what's what's even happening? I don't. Must be some kind of bug. Oh, is there that it's not connected here? Interesting. Something like that might help. That might also want to come. Something like that. All right. At any rate, there's the traffic is literally at a standstill. This is. I don't know. I don't know what the game needs to do to fix that, but... Alright. Um... Is it going all the way to over here? What's happening here? I'm breathing. I think lane math is what's happening here. Let's see if we can maybe fix this a little bit. Is that all right? That gives us two more lanes that can go that way. But I guess it's really should be shrinking down here, is what it is. Well, at some point, it should have anyway. Let's try going up one more. There we go. I've kind of created a mess right here, but once those cars sort themselves out, we should be okay. Do we split off one of these lanes and then make that lane do what we want it to? Let's take a look and see.
see what that did. All right, that maybe helped a bit. But I don't think we need traffic lights right here, though. All right, let's see if that gets people where they want to go. That does seem to clear the traffic quite a bit. Road garbage, whatever that means. I think this light is just too short is part of the problem. Like cars are getting confused about where they want to go. All right, that said. All right, I think that this guy. we in comparison to everything else okay let's come down here let's make this make sense all right i'm gonna say that this guy could evolve We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Increasing areas of forest are being engulfed by flames. The thick smoke rising from the fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. Citizens are advised to vacate any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance right. until emergency services get back to normal speed. Under control. This is bonkers over here. This has not fixed itself at all. Thanks for joining us today on Deluxe Relax. Always remember to always sit up straight because you never know when someone's watching. And you always want to make a good impression. I crime, huh? Don't we have a cop? And Don't we have cops here? Main feature story. The commercial district is mm. booming as the area How about if you only do birds on glade? And stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now and get some more vehicles. Shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate. Let's expand. So my wife tells me that's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources okay. tell us that our city has See if that helps. Then we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The right. point is, we are selling it and bringing money into local. That's right. Economy. Still have too much traffic over here, huh? Too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. Well, for the most part, most times people are not going to be turning. What if we just got rid of the traffic light here? And then I'm also going to say... No, I think we're okay. Yeah, that should help things. All right. Whoa, this school needs... I might as well attach the clinic. I know we can't, but looks like like we need another school or almost do anyway. All right, we we're gonna have to think about that. This is crazy.
All right. Um. Let's see. They. Oh, we've almost filled up their needs over here. That's good. Let's go ahead and tell, say this crematorium is only for here. And leave that alone for now. All right. We're pretty happy here. Where's the, let's see, who did I just upgrade over here? Oh, they're still building. This parking lot is not quite full, but it probably will be soon. Let's do just this area here. See if that helps. Take a look at the traffic that's going on here. We got a highway. This is just a street. Alright. Really what we should have is a stop sign here and then these folks just constantly get to go, but doesn't doesn't look like that's in the cards. Alright. Right. I think I want to keep things. Let's see. Did this ever resolve itself? Nope, this is just continues to be at a virtual standstill. People just stuck here, stuck there. Nothing resolves itself. It's, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to call it a bug. This place is all into rubble. All right, where is she? That's what I want to know. Growing out this way, this is probably going to be um, mostly apartments. And I will get to that in a minute, although for you guys it'll be instantaneous. Right, I'm back. Let's get this. Let's get our pathways. Let's, I'm going to do a pathway. I'm going to continue this one going this way. Um, maybe. Oh. You know what? Uh, we're gonna kind of keep it parallel with the street. Yes. Night. Uh, no, you don't have to. Not yet. You can wait till mom comes up. <laughs> right. 
Let's grab a street. And then go here. Let's see here. So if we come out of here at a 90, we'll kind of come up there, there, all right, um, let's bring our path all the way out. Blocks are a little bit longer than I want. I'm going to do another cut right about there. There. All right, let's go across. We'll go there. All right. And maybe one more there. These will be some shorter blocks. There we go. All right. Let's get some parking in here. It's medium fit. We'll put one there. One there. One there. Um. Maybe one there. We'll grab our parks. It's going to be a very happy area. Lots of parks. All right. And now let's grab our... I'm going to do a little bit of low rent housing uh, here. Uh, which apparently is not the kind of high density they're looking for. Um, and we'll allow a big apartment there. <laughs> I'm going to do apartment with commercial here. I'm going to do row house there, row house there. Oh, I'm paused. I was like, why is nothing filling in? There we go. Um, do apartment here. Here. Um. Apartment with commercial here. Regular apartments here. Little apartment. Little apartment. <coughs> I'll let this be as big or as many as it wants to be. I think in this corner we'll have commercial and residential, of course. Um, here, I think I'm going to do like maybe like that, like that. This one go up to there. Okay. Still have a lot of medium density need. That's okay. Willing to fulfill in this little, this little suburb area, transitioning out towards the oil fields out here. Um, I'm gonna also allow for another <coughs> uh, low income. Uh, let's see. We'll transition here with row homes. And row rooms. And then allow these to go like that. Alright, so got quite a bit coming in there, potentially. Did I zone there? I did not. Uh, let that be. 
There you go. All right, cool. So meeting some of our zoning needs. Got this neighborhood here. I'm guessing should probably upgrade this street eventually, right? Because people need to make their way out that way. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to upgrade it to a medium road. We'll do medium with a divider and then I'll add some grass to it. Let's see. Here we go. We can't, can't do it there. But we can do it here without any destruction. Let's do that. Gonna have to do some destruction here, but that's inevitable. We'll go all the way out to there. And here, we'll go like that. Um, I think I'll do this whole outside area as well. Um, let's grab our green area. some trees okay um all right Let's go ahead and continue that trend going this way. Oops, wrong thing. What I meant to do was the road out to there. got that going um let's go ahead and get some buses going here i think i think i'm gonna throw a bus depot like right here say huh these icons changed all right so let's do some stops when I go reason they don't like that they're like no no buses yeah yeah go ahead Let's see where else do we need them let's keep going along the street here Definitely need some in here. Be like there so people can walk. Maybe here. Alright. So, we're to start here. Good. Go there. Come back that way. Go to 
the subway station. In here, um, and let's start heading back. Actually, let me see, get rid of that one for a second. Come here and go here. Going there. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Deluxe Relax. All right, cool. Don't go away. We got a line that does all this. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. And that's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. From here, joined today by an expert guest, they can get to the Rain station here. So a housing shortage is bad for mm. people trying to move here, right? That's the only line we've got, right? Yeah. For now. Presentations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of Wonder, are we able to make a line that goes from here to the university? And its effect on the human Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. This here. just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially there. in Russia. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get oh, perfect. fast. It's worth slowing down. All right, cool. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. All right. Trams are just stuck doing nothing, so but the other ones are doing pretty well. Excellent. All right. more workers in here as well as some more industrial let me work on industrial first oh uh, yeah before I do that I want to make bus lanes here I guess it doesn't really matter yeah I guess it doesn't matter all right, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do some more industrial over here.
not sure exactly how much I need, so I'm not sure exactly uh Yeah, that seems to have taken care of it. All right, good, good, good. But here we have cars taking the highway. We do, we do. Excellent. All right. Got a wheel of corner here. Thriving, doing pretty well, looking pretty. Like that. Very cool, very cool. All right. I actually have some passengers taking the train. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, working out, working out. <laughs> All right, we're getting to just about where I'm gonna finish up for today. So, let's just take a quick look over here. should grow things a bit more over here or even expand out from Pearl Street I'm not sure but let's take a look over here and see what's going on all right that's just the taxi that went off the road all right over here things are kind of piling up a bit so maybe maybe it's time to upgrade this highway First of all, let's take a quick look at our interchanges. What does that one look like? supposed to be connecting to what? this highway to highway? Not sure what connects on either side of this. Whoa, this is huge. Yeah, no kidding. Look at that. All right, let me see. down for a second just so I can kind of get my bearings here. Highway, highway, highway. Highway, highway. This is all highways. This is where two highways meet.
This is their version of a park low. So the question is, should Pearl Street just be a street or should it be a highway? I think we can let it be a highway. Let's do, I guess let's do their park low. It basically go something like that. So let's pause for a second. Do some destruction here. Let's put our park low in. Essentially go. All right, I didn't adjust the anything there, so we'll just get rid of you for a minute. All right, let me see what this did here. Ugh. We will fix that momentarily. All right, let's see here. Let's go highway. This is Three and three and three. Okay. So we need two going that way. Coming three. And then here we need three coming two. There we go. And here, got two. All right, so that's not a change in our capacity. Let's go two. Uh, we should probably have a little bit of a sure we'll let that whole thing be a merge is that they merge into there then we lose one it's fine come to two and there Right now for this street, what I need is to deluxe, relax with Alice Brash. I'm her in road. Sarah. Although she's really more of a role model, it's what you believe that counts, dear. And if you believe in yourself, you can believe in anything. Thanks, everybody. We'll be right back. And on Do that feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores. We go. Alright. I think in terms of what we have coming in, we're fine. Whoopsie daisy. Fancy local Java mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. 
Everybody find your spot. Region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. This might as well connect to Elm Street. Oh, there's a rural, rural highway here, meant to be a rural highway. <laughs> Alright, um... So let's go... Here, let's downgrade to a four, four lane road. Meet up there. Does that even make sense? Yeah, I guess it does. Potentially. Because people can take this bypass or they can go. Yeah, whatever happens to make sense. At the same time, this part here being a street, this part um, can support businesses or something. But I think that's it for today. This has been Eric. Oh, I guess let's do. do, 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 do. What should we do for our shot? Maybe we'll do a shot of the. Uh, from our new bridge over here. Alright, and then... Let's uh, get out of this mode for a minute. Head over here. See if anybody's coming in our new highway. And we'll follow him as we go out. This has been Eric Plain City Skylines 2. I will see you next time.